and then he died. Uh, died later. Due, due, he died later due to that. But yeah. what the real issue was was he was a known entity who had some sort of mental cognitive issues, and this is how they decided to deal with it. Mm. And so the community was up in arms because they said that everyone knew that this was how he yeah, was. Yes, he was, yeah. was wrong to have done that, yeah. but, but, it, but it really didn't warrant him being beaten. charged him with anything, but he Well, yeah, yeah. It, what they're saying is it didn't warrant him being beaten to death because he was a known entity who yeah. was, well, he was just, just sick. Yeah. And he touched a woman rather than, you know, it's not like he... And, and, and you know... Yeah. And that's like, what the big, and that's what the huge... Yeah. And we know that, that the whole concept of them systematically doing this to, to dark-skinned people is is really to create that illusion of, you know, somebody needs to separate or somebody needs to do something to somebody else because of whatever. When, if you, if we look at all the, all the, the, the instances that this happened, all the instances where the individual who got killed or whatever was classified as black, police, whatever, whatever, got certain treatment, certain things happened, and whatever. Anybody else was classified as something other than black. being labeled black, Negro, colored, African, Canadian, African, whatever like that, that had nationality, their stuff went a certain way. Police mm -hmm. got charges, police it's got disturbing. arrested, police got, you know what I mean? All that, all that stuff plays part in, in realizing what's the issue with, with us. You know what I mean? And the more, the more people, um, accept the um, the fact that they've been they've been the veils been put in front of their face and they've been blocked from certain truths or whatever and they start getting certain truths and realizing that you know what I mean things are being revealed to them. It's now for them to make their take their place stop stop pussyfooting around like they don't know what's going on. That like they don't realize that oh well you know because I was watching this video and then you know, I don't think I should, whatever, it's about, do you think here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody out there is going to convince you to proclaim yourself as a more. You're going to feel it right here, and you're going to do it. Yes. And then once that, once that thing's done, then, then the, all the illusions now become, and they dissolve right in front of you. You start, really, you know, it's like we were talking about with um, when they live with the, with the glasses. Mm -hmm. They need to check them at you. <laughs> what? That really says you start realizing that everything around you is an illusion. Banks an illusion. We're putting all our faith in that. School education system is an illusion. Um, politics or whatever is an illusion. Our sports whatever that we miss is an illusion. All, all the things that they've been telling us is, oh yeah, you need whatever like that, all those stuff are illusion. And, that, and then, then it comes to, okay, so now what do we do? Now what do we do? That we found everything's an illusion. Now we build the reality. And we build the reality by all these individuals that say nationality, they have a certain mindset, and that mindset is going to transform into whatever it is that they want over there because we're a lying man. But I think we can realize, and I don't know how close you're wrapping up. Yeah, yeah well, I think what, 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 what I can see realizing is our activity Maybe. is what's creating all of this stuff that's going on with the so called unawakened moors who are being right. killed. What's happening now is they realize that our vibratory level is reaching this. Yeah. So what they're doing is they're trying to drag us back down. Right. And they're doing it one at a time. Yeah. Killing people off one at a time to get us into that lower state. Yeah. And what's happening is unfortunately we're not reacting the way that they want us to react. But there's also other forces that are at play that are sort of for this. Yeah. This has to come back again. Yeah. This is the pendulum swinging back again. Yeah. There is no survival for yeah. this way. We've been trying to find ways around it. Um, but there is no there is no survival for them in, in this way without things changing. Right? Yeah. For us. And that goes for everybody because remember that, you know, they got um um the Atim and whoever else, the Europeans that they're killing too. It ain't no secluded thing that oh only black people black lives matter or whatever. Now the Europeans getting their ass kicked too by police. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody's getting because everybody's starting to realize that oh those guys aren't those guys aren't police, they're enforcers. Right. Oh, police actually have offices. Oh, somebody can't 
be hired and call herself police. That means you're a security guard. If you got hired, you're not police officer. If you got hired. But, you know, through force of arms, through people, you know, because remember that, that when we look at the influence, how, how do they influence the people to to be, be down with certain things or not down with certain things? Same thing that they do with entertaining people. They know that one individual could have an impact on a million people. So they find the right individual, preferably somebody who has mental issues or somebody who's peaceful or somebody who whatever like that, and they do something to them, they know that they're gonna get a reaction from everybody else who looks like them. And more than likely the reaction is going to allow them to employ certain tactics, certain things that the people are gonna complain about, but because of their status, it really means that they're reliving civil rights movement in 2015. And, so, and you know, realizes that all of this fire hoses and all that stuff and whatever that they got back then is now accelerated to this time and it's pepper spray that they get. You know what I mean? They might not get, you know, they get tasered, you know? All these things that are happening is reoccurrence of 60s era, people not having rights, people not having a status, assuming that they can call themselves whatever they want, go out there, get their ass kicked, and then want to blame the person kicking their ass instead of recognizing that, hold on a second, we need to start looking at ourselves. We need to start looking at, at, at is, is this really, is, is the issue really them doing something to us, or is the issue really us Allow not me. doing something? And that, and us not doing something is what is allowing them to do certain things that we're complaining about. Why are they doing that? They can't do that. We're all this. We're that. No, that's not real. That's an illusion. But the funny thing is that um, when you, because most times they feel hopeless. There's nothing we could do. Right. At back, so called back. They feel like there's nothing we could do. We're hopeless. We just have to eat and cope with it, or we could come back as militant as they can, which we can't because right. you don't know, have yeah, the forces. So, well, why not just try something different? Claim a nationality, well, they're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. But I think it's a matter of uh, post-traumatic stress I mean, from our ancestors, and they go in this dumb down state where they freeze, and that's when they recondition them. No, 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 remember this. You had post-traumatic slave syndrome. Yes. I have post traumatic slave syndrome. Well. Nope, so Mari had it. We had it. Uh, everybody had it. So, so well, what's the issue? Sister, sister in the back. She They're had post traumatic slave syndrome. They're comfortable with these things. Yeah. Like, like for for example, um, sister in the back. Is, she she's ex nation of Islam. Realize that. Well, on a second. What's going on? How come they're not talking about nationality or whatever? How come their foundation goes back to Noble Juali and they're not talking about nationality? Right? Mm -hmm. And then what happens? Right there, you crack the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. post traumatic slave syndrome bubble that they have over you. Is that you seal it back up or you just keep letting yeah. it crack? Yeah. Once that, once that crack happens, now it's on you. Are you going to bust out of this thing or are you going to keep, you know what I mean? Duct tape. <laughs> I think they're enjoying it, man. Because for me, I thought there was no way out either until yeah. I came on the more sides. I said, there's a way out. There's a way out. You know what I mean? It's like, really not. It's not coming But guys, no we have. Boxed in like that. This world, these people are so focused on the flesh right now. So yeah. Like sexual garbage, yeah. so jam of yeah. foods, all the things that are wrong. Everything so the ones that are. So. Yeah, and the ones that are not, we're the ones cracking out of it because yeah. we don't want to be a part of that. Right. We're detoxing from that, but the majority of people are loving that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can do say whatever in public. I'm not like this, but in the in private, that's what's really going yeah. on in their brains. Yeah. That's who they are. So they can't break through it. Right. Well, that's well, they, you know, I'm just thinking that you know to. some people are born with it. Just, yeah. There's no, they just no, don't know the avenues to take, right? Yeah. But they just know that when their mother's telling them church, you're thinking that. Yeah. Nah. At four years old, you're like, that's not right. That's yeah, not yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can't. Yeah, you yeah. still have to go for it, but yeah. you know. But you know that, yeah. You, that's not what you're saying. It's not yeah. right there. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And this lady's telling me not to listen to you. Yeah. Who's this lady? Mm -hmm. She's right there. Well, I can't see nobody, so get your clothes on or go. <laughs> <laughs> until you get to that age, right? Yeah, until yeah, you yeah. start to ask yeah. questions. And you, for me, all I said was, 
When I did my meditation, all I said was, Most High, I don't care. I never used to call him God, because yeah. that, that, that didn't go with it, it, it didn't resonate. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I just yeah. I used to call him Most High, or yeah. her, for that matter. Yeah. Um, just, I just want the truth. Yeah. I don't care what the truth is, I just want the truth. I never knew about Morris Science Temple. I just want a truth. Whatever that is, I don't care what it is. Right. Aliens, we come from monkeys, we don't, I don't care what yeah. it is. I just yeah. want the truth. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, I found Morris Science Temple. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So no one can sway me either way. Right. right? No matter what. And, and that's real. That people are people, the, the ones that are born with it are the ones who, like you said, they knew long time ago. Mm -hmm. Church or whatever? Yeah. I'll just go just because. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I'll be in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. straight up. <laughs> 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 the you should just run me out. It's like, yeah. Well, open. Yeah. <laughs> then you get the pinch. Yeah, get the get the, uh, the pinches. <laughs> 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 Head back slaps. <laughs> the Bible to the head. But yeah, it's, it's a mental condition, and, and yeah. we just have to chalk it up with just that. It is a mental condition because you cannot look at what's been happening and still think that. Well, let's just keep doing the same thing. It, it, yeah. it just doesn't compute. And again, going back to that same thing about all these people having a foundation mm -hmm. that that is. Um, um, hinged on Nobu Juali mm -hmm. and him saying that what I have is going to cure you from mental slavery. Mm -hmm. and all these people could complain about this, all the Europeans mentally enslaving them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long are you guys going to keep complaining about the they stuff did. that okay. man already did everything to save you from mental slavery? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, nah, we don't want to wear fezzes and we don't. Yeah. It ain't about fezzes and turbans and stuff like that. This is about, do you want to be a Latin man or do you want to be nigger forever? <laughs> you can be nigger forever. It's cool. But, you know, it's only cool to people who use niggers as mm -hmm. cat and fodder or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's not cool for people who have common sense and reason and logic and they have a heart and they know that there's a higher force and they know that there's good and and nature and mm -hmm. you know what I mean don't pull that flower out just because you want to impress that girl put it in a pot you know what I mean like mm -hmm. mentality is going to be totally different mm -hmm. once you have certain principles you know you have some more and then we'll pull yeah, it out. just um, one of the things that come to me before uh, I've been getting a lot of this sort of what I would think sort of that higher level not higher level just different level stuff that uh, even the so-called sheep that we're having a problem convincing I start to realize that they're not even the problem because they're going to go with whatever's going. Whatever's good. So ultimately, it's really not about, because tomorrow if you tell them license you don't need, they'll put the license down as long as it's so-called figurehead telling them that, yeah. right? It's really about what, who the figurehead is. Mm -hmm. So really, out of, this, out of the absolute seeds of what you would call destruction come, come the rebirth. Mm -hmm. Because even the, even the sheep, as long as he's told to go that way and it's the right way, yeah. he'll go. Yeah. Right? Because if those guys were fighting, then they'd have been fighting this. So really, you don't really have to spend and That's why I think the prophet said, you go to them, you talk to them for a bit. If they get it, they get it. If they don't, move on. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, they will have to come in line or be, as I used this before with these two, they'll be the fertilizer for, yeah, for, for, future, for, for the future. For the future. They'll be the ones, they'll be the ones yeah. that the so-called European takes his ire out on, yeah. while the rest of us sort of move on. And, and, and even even speaking on that, like that, that's where we want people to realize where this is. That that once 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 we once we can get the European to see us and not get that that glitch that they get, yeah. grab your purse. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. that panic, yeah. or whatever. Like they walk in this, like, just like the Polish dude yesterday. Yeah. You know, just oh, you guys got a light. <laughs> you know, you ain't walking up on no Asiatics. Yeah. Ask for no light. Yeah. If they don't got fences on, they got something to make him at least feel comfortable enough to walk up and say, yo, I want to get a light. You know what I mean? And then, get the light, but he's talking about fezzes and all that type of stuff. Why even go there if you just wanted a light? Mm 